Hello and welcome to the Here For It podcast with Chris and Melissa. We're two sisters that are here to bring you real and relatable topics that we hope will inspire you, cause you to think, laugh, and grow. If you hear something you like, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And now, let's get into today's topic. Yeah, but um, I feel like we make our sorries more about being intellectual. Like mm-hmm. uh, an understanding, and I do, I do feel like understanding is important when you're in a calm, cool. That's we're what talking I'm together, like we're just having me and Crystal. We go to dinner. We're holding hands, and now we're finding understanding with each other because we're both in a balanced place. Bro, let me ask you this: Why did? How, why does it ever? I don't have an answer to this because mm-hmm. there's not one answer. But why does it ever? Why does it ever get? away from why do we have to get to the point where now we're going to dinner to get understanding like why i i'm the type of person where i wish i could just communicate how i feel about it Mm -hmm. and we talk about it and we reach some sort of compromise some sort of understanding Mm -hmm. right then and there right then and there so let me tell you let me let me tell you let me tell you a little bit about so there's different head types. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, and I learned this about myself. My head gets full quick. Uh-huh. Like, and I don't know if it's a part of, you know, this creative side that I have or whatever, but sometimes there's so much going on that in this moment, it's like, I am, I'm, I'm done processing. You know, I got to tell Crystal, listen, let's pick this up a little Preach. bit later. Mm-hmm. Now this is in the heat of the moment. Mm-hmm. This is in the this is in the heat of the moment. Frustration. This is where anger comes out. You know, um, so we've taken pauses and then we're more calm and collected. Now I can process what she's saying to me a little bit better because before I was in a place of having no value and you're piling on, piling on, piling on, mm-hmm. and then it's like, okay, there's only so much of this that I can handle right now. So, so we don't have to go to dinner, but I'm just talking about. You know what the is timing it? On the it? timing on the uh, on the understanding, understanding. part. Don't you pile know. on me because yeah. I mm-hmm. I'm saying that mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that I hurt you. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry for what I said. Mm-hmm. I cannot process everything that you're saying and understand. Mm-hmm. I feel a certain kind of way, mm-hmm. and this is the way that I'm feeling that I'm stuck in. Mm-hmm. And by you compiling on to me, mm-hmm. I cannot process. Your piece of it. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck with my, I need to flesh that out Mm -hmm. because if it's wrong, I need to get it out. Mm -hmm. And then I can hear what you have to say. I'm Mm -hmm. not being rude to you, Mm -hmm. but this is the way that I process. So don't pile on me. Let's Mm -hmm. step back. Mm -hmm. Let me. That's that's easy to do when you know you have, when your love tank is full, Mm -hmm. when the temperature is warm, Mm -hmm. when you know your your spouse has good intentions. Mm -hmm. That, that's really easy. well. I, yeah, and and uh, I I agree with you, and I I think there's a beautiful thing about this conversation right now because we're learning that there's one that's like this in every relationship. Mm-hmm. There's one who is like more um, of what I call I call Crystal. She's almost like a prosecutor at times. Like Crystal, so can they're get more to alike. It. Yeah, she can get yeah. to it. You know, she she like she set us up. You know, earlier. Call me if this. you need a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they're gonna go yes. down the line, gonna, and gonna, in my mind, I'm like, for, for real, yeah, I'm I the can't. person that can be on the stand looking guilty, and <laughs> I ain't even guilty. Like, yeah. that's what I would yeah. Crystal, yeah. So, I, and I tell Crystal this all the time. I'm like, man, like I am a, I'm a kid in that way where it's like, Me too. yeah, I'm saying sorry because I want this to end, this part, <laughs> and let's get to the part where we can talk and we can talk about all your stuff, but I can't process in this space. So I get that. That yeah. makes that makes sense. I, so let's give a message to our people yeah. because I think what what do you think that couples need to have us sit down when everything is good, you know, and talk about how they process and how they deal with conflict mm-hmm. and actually set some rules and parameters around that. Okay. Yeah. When we get beforehand. hot, whether it's the beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. Get your, get your com- conflict resolution plan together. We're going to yeah. be talking about yeah. that at White 
with you. Absolutely. Because it's important. And it's important. That's why, again, at Wife, you were going to talk about understanding your temperament. Yep. Understanding your husband's Your spiritual gifts. Your yeah. spiritual gifts. All these things, um, they they play a role in, you know, when hard times come, how are we going to deal with this? You know? Right. And so, right. I mean, when I tell you we bump our head, we have bumped our head over and over and over and over again on mm -hmm. this very point. Um, so, yeah, a conflict resolution plan is what every you couple need to, needs. You need to map it out and have that dialogue and conversation because yeah. prior to getting married, I had no idea that there was a conflict resolution plan in right. place. I didn't right. even know what it was. Nah, and here my, yeah, here my husband is. is like, these are the facts. See, well, like when I was driving on 33rd Street and I made a right. I at, said this to you, and then I made the left, and then you said this, and then I made another right, and when we got to the place, this is what we said. So he yeah. know he can mm -hmm. he can capture all of those things in his head, yeah. and wants me to right. understand. <laughs> 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 he wants me. To, I, I don't I'm even remember you, where, here for you. when we were arguing. I don't right. remember where we were going right. Right. because we're in the heat of the she moment. She didn't even know there was a conflict going on. <laughs> right. I'm over here boiling. He yeah. boiling. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. because, so it's just it's it have talking with you plan. guys i feel like i relate more to talton yeah in the way that he processes things mm -hmm. where he's not trying to be rude to you mm -hmm. but he's like i can't i'm not as fly i'm not as fly yeah or I'm not as quick with the words yeah. to be able to process and take in what, and yeah. that's the same with that proves it's not a it's not a male female thing. It's yeah. a temperament. Hey, I thought it was it, it, yeah, a temperament, a temperament thing. thing. It, so you got to know your temperament. Yeah. You got to yeah. know your husband's yeah. temperament. So we'll, so. we'll that is definitely going to be just one come of the to watch you for that just alone. Come okay, to, to get some some tools and tips yeah. for that. That was good. Yeah, yeah, no, that was good. That was yeah. good. Okay, a couple more questions. It's gonna get a little hotter in I'm here. I'm supposed to ask questions. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. You ask okay. them. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I have none. Go ahead. Okay. What's on the paper? Oh, Give me a paper. <laughs> she said, "Ask her. Tell me what to ask her." The paper say. <laughs> <laughs> so raggedy too. What it say? So raggedy. Um, don't don't read that sad. That's the lock in uh, roll call list. <laughs> on this paper is the list from her. I'm embarrassed, my doodles. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Grocery list. This is the grocery list. <laughs> <laughs> I saw cups. I was like, <laughs> turn off, turn off. Okay. Just, 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 just for the looks. Why do men cheat? Um, the question is, why do men cheat? And I'll, I'll start with you. I'm not saying that you're a cheater, but, mm -hmm. I'm not a cheater. you know, why do you feel that men cheat? And yeah. and what can we do as wives to help prevent it, help prevent that, <laughs> to be proactive in that? Yeah. Uh, you have to. Well, why do men cheat? Mm -hmm. That answer varies from man to man, situation right. to situation. Right. Really? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, there's got to be some type of general. No. There. There is. There is There's one general, and I'll, yeah. I'll say okay. that. Well, I, do that. Okay. Um, I believe that uh, men cheat for different reasons. One could be feelings of inadequacy, needs, needs not being met at mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. um, I have cheated before. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a feeling of entitlement. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Unhappiness. Mm -hmm. um, you done fired off 15 warning shots. Like, mm -hmm. hey, I'm about to cheat. Mm -hmm. I'm about to cheat. Mm -hmm. I'm about to cheat. Mm -hmm. You don't believe me? All right, here I go cheating. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it, it varies mm -hmm. uh, uh, from situation to situation. What can women do? That was your part two. Yeah. yeah. What, can, what can we do, do as help meets to? Um, I believe that you. I believe there's certain things that you can do to lessen your chance. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe there's any one thing that you can do to prevent being cheated on. If you're with a man that's willing to cheat. He's willing to cheat no matter what you do. Yeah, no that's helpful to hear. But, and I want you guys to know, um, as women, it's a very discouraging point for women. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, women will say all oh, men are dogs or all oh, men cheat. I don't care whatever. But that's whatever. what women say because we're like, oh, he's going to cheat anyway. Or yeah. a lot of women yeah, do. Like, like, yeah, that's, 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 that's just normal. a part of it. It's a part of yeah. the game. Let me clarify. I haven't cheated in my marriage, but yeah. I've been a cheater before in life. Yes. And um, it's just... It's unfortunate, you know. Um, what can women do to prevent it? I would say uh, be desire to be a wife. Be there for your husband. Keep the lines of communication open. Mm -hmm. Ladies, keep it tight. Mm 
um, mm-hmm. the body to everything. Yeah. Just keep it tight. Um, we married you looking like that, mm-hmm. so don't get too far off the off the track. So stay how you, know? you were. Don't okay. get too far off the okay. track. Okay. Yeah. Evolve. Okay. But, yeah. What say you? I, I I agree with a lot of those points. I think that um, for me, I think if there was a general, you said it actually. The general thing is um, the need. The there's an area that's missing. Men cheat because there's something missing, mm-hmm. and it could be something missing. Something may vary. Yeah, something may vary, but it could be something within themselves mm-hmm. that the woman. We talked about this earlier, mm-hmm. like how y'all could put purpose in us. Right. Mm-hmm. When a man is filled with how his woman treats him. Mm-hmm. He ain't out there in them streets. Mm-hmm. Or it lessens his chances of wanting to go out there. Mm-hmm. What women are doing nowadays, and this has been going on for years. I don't know what they're doing you know, back in the day. But women are purposely hitting you with the good morning king. You know, mm-hmm. this, yeah. these words. Do. What do you mean wives or women that no, are outside? Women, women, women out. Outside. They, they okay. give women those encourage, them uh, encouraging, oh, them king man. words. The king, do that. Morning that king. They can, <laughs> the morning king. I <laughs> handmade. You know, exactly. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they know what to They say. see everything that you're doing. Everything yeah. that you are. Oh, you are brilliant. You are a genius. At home, I'm being called stupid. Mm. Said, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What I'm doing ain't working. She like, oh, I see your vision. What? What? You say to me? <laughs> what did she say me to me? You see it? Exactly. <laughs> so, you see it? You so, it, it no, listen. Let's just be honest, though. Let's just be honest. It's a trick of the devil. It is. Uh-huh. Okay. Especially when you're it married. Is. But I'm letting y'all know how it, it it ends up happening. Now, what Steve talked about earlier is just there are men who have a heart towards that. Mm-hmm. Where they're just not, maybe they got married for the wrong reasons mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, and that's where they're at. But men who are good men who have ended up on that side of the fence, mm-hmm. it happened because there was an area that the devil was at to entice them through another woman mm-hmm. where she was filling that void and was like, you know what? Well, for this temporary time. And then you wake up and you're like, bro, I just made this horrible mistake. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the yeah. worst feeling ever. Yeah. But that's. That's where it comes from. I would say, because you asked two questions, um, how do you stop this? <laughs> give the that, women, give the wives or wives to be some encouragement. Yeah. So women have to be just as intentional about their man and his compartments as they are about theirs and theirs. Expound you know, they're, on they're that. Own. Listen, you go get them lashes done. You them get, lashes be done, baby. You get, baby. Wax, <laughs> you get, that, you get that wax. You at, you, mm-hmm. you at your workout class. Uh-huh. You got your different, I don't even know how many tones or shades of makeup that y'all get to buy. <laughs> okay, no, 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 Steve said something earlier that was, it's funny because I'm a man, but it's like, you don't even think about it like that because we're told to base everything on one emotion. We got more emotions and we got more compartments. Mm-hmm. We're just, we're just treated like we take out the trash, we do a job. Like, so what are the compartments? We, so I'm, Put us on to game. take care of those compartments, um, feeling mm-hmm. appreciated, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. words, um, of words of affirmation, speaking in a love yeah, language, speaking love, in that. yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, physical touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you touching on your man at home, and you 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 making sure that little caress as he mm-hmm. the, the, Crystal does this thing where she rubs on my arm. I be like, I love that. I told mm-hmm. her the other day, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I'm communicating. Don't mm-hmm. stop doing that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I my like wife that. got magic hands when exactly. she rubs my back. Yeah, yeah. All, all the trouble. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh it's, yeah. I'm like, it's can those- I have some money? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's those things on top of the treatment that you receive in front of others. How mm-hmm. do you treat me when others are around? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you treat me like a king? Are you making me feel appreciated? Are you making yeah. sure that they respect me? Mm-hmm. So all of those things are compartments that we have. Mm-hmm. And when those things are taken care of, it's hard to go outside because guess what? When that woman rub your arms, you're going to think about your wife. Mm-hmm. When she talk to you, you call you king. Oh, that reminds me of my wife. Mm-hmm. Everything's going to send you back home. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, but when you're not getting that at home, then your arrows are pointed out. You're like the grass. And also the real green over here. Right. Yeah. When you go out, 
uh, feeling like your wife is the wind in your sails, mm -hmm. you probably are going to talk about her a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you get in those positions where a woman is in your face, oh, yeah. Yeah. it's no problem. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I, yeah, I'm or have you play. seen my wife? She yeah. beautiful. Right. She fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. no problem. Definitely. Yeah, I think. But uh, back to uh, cheat, cheating, mm -hmm. it, it's a it's a symptom. I'd say nine times out of ten, it's a symptom of a bigger problem that okay. has not been addressed with the man or in the marriage. In the marriage, okay. Mm -hmm. Most okay. of the time, it's the man's issue. Okay, mm -hmm. that didn't get addressed properly. Didn't get. Um, didn't get a nice bow wrapped yeah. around it. So, yeah. so, so you see, you're saying he was probably depressed about it, so he didn't talk about it. So he didn't, she didn't it. be she intentional did. with him. So then he got that mm -hmm. DM, and then he was out in the streets because she said, good morning, King. And then she... Just for a little good morning. <laughs> Listen, man. Yeah. The, yeah. Devil, the morning, devil used gorgeous, the smallest right. things, y'all. Yeah. The devil the used a piece thing. of fruit to yeah. upset the whole balance of humanity. But so, yeah. I, yeah. I, I get that because for each person or for each you know male or female, there's different things that mm -hmm. gets to them. Yeah. And Satan watches that. Man. He oh, knows absolutely. what gets mm -hmm. to us yeah. and what our weaknesses are. Yeah. And that's what he pokes at yeah. to get you to do. And that's where you have to make the determination that... Mm -hmm. Okay, I know who this is. Mm -hmm. right. I'm connected with God, so I know what this is. Mm -hmm. So let me get back in line. Right. Yeah. And if you're not getting what you need, we have to be open to communication and say, yeah. this is what I need. With yeah. your word. And yeah. it's okay, because yeah. if you with tell me you yeah. need yeah. me, if you tell me that I need you to rub my back more, that part, I need for you to tell me how hard I'm working. Yes. And, and we're not going to do it because out of duty, because we do think that way. We just don't think to say it all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did, or, didn't know it mattered so yes, much. Yes, so much. Like, oh, because for okay. us, it may not matter, or we may not be in that mindset, mm -hmm. but if that's what you need, baby, I'm here to give you what you need. Mm -hmm. I'm, you willing. So I'm willing. I'm willing. So yeah, it's my desire let's, to. Let's play that on comes a, back to goodwill. Let's, yeah. let's play on yeah. a quick concept, yeah. you know, because women like to say this all the time. Y'all say all men are what? Diggity dogs, dog. yeah. Right. Right. I've right. never right. say that, but yeah, yeah. it right. does. But let's, let's I just, say most let's, men let's just, are. Let's just play really? off the. Let's, I just, let's just play off the concept, girl. When 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 a, when a dog comes up to you, you know, and is wagging his tail, you give him a treat. He's wagging his tail. He's happy. He goes off, runs off. He comes to you the next day. You want the same thing that every, every day. Mm -hmm. A lap dog gonna pop in your lap. He want the same thing every day. He want to be rubbed. You mm -hmm. want. To, like if we all do, then you know you treat, us, treat me like a dog. Give me some treats. Give me some treats. Yeah. 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 Keep my tail wet. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. I live to that. Exactly. Exactly. And everything will be all good though. That's good. But that's true. Because they'll be loyal. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's some that's some really pop looking crystal eyes. That was good. I ain't like that. Yo, dog. <laughs> that was so my good. little puppy. We were like, puppy, right. you're a puppy. puppy. <laughs> my man is a puppy. But um, I mean, you just have to find. I, yeah. I think we as women, because we have been so hard, mm -hmm. and the culture has taught us to be so, like I said, so independent, Absolutely. so strong. Mm -hmm. Not letting a man take advantage of you. If he mm -hmm. cheats on you, forget that. And you, you out of there. You yeah. out of here. Yeah. You cheat on me once, it's over. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think it comes to working together. To mm -hmm. get through those problems, so I'm not an advocate of men cheating or even women cheat too. They do. I'm not for that. But what I am for is that if your marriage can be saved mm -hmm. even after that, God yeah. can do anything. Can. If you believe that He can do the impossible, He can change those things, and, he and I'm will. a He can turn those things yeah. around. Yeah. So yeah, sure. that's yeah. where you have to be with for sure. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. All right. So I have another question. How can wives wives to be support their husbands through maybe like what might be considered bad habits, whether it's porn, whether it's um, drug or alcohol abuse, whether it's just, you know, whatever might be considered an abusive behavior. How can wives best support their husbands through those through tough, it, through, through those tough, tough times? I think, you know, once again, it's that sit down, you know, mm -hmm. everything for a man, you would be, <clears throat> You you would think that we don't like to talk. Mm -hmm. We do. We actually, we talk. Mm -hmm. We don't talk a lot in certain areas or about certain subjects because we are we feel like we're going to be cornered with a title mm -hmm. after that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, 
If you're gonna diagnose me, then I'm not about to. You talk don't like about them this. titles. No, don't call me no. Okay. Because because, yeah. because, mm -hmm. because titles say what you are. Like even mm -hmm. with you know my work, I don't want people to give me one title. Like I could do a lot of stuff. Like right. don't just give me one. You know, right. so don't box me don't in. Don't box me in. I so got you. I think that um, when you make a safe space, uh -huh. a man will talk to you about everything that he's doing. Like. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm drinking because this is what it's solving. You know, mm -hmm. um, there was a point in my relationship I was drinking to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. That was it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep. I had a lot going on, you know, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like I wanted to be drunk, mm -hmm. but I had a drink every day mm -hmm. because it literally helped me sleep. Crystal would tell you, my, I would be knocked out, mm -hmm. you know, um, but that's what it was for. And then from there, you know, um, accepting that and trying to be that help me, help me out of this, like, how, I, How can they, I, I sleep? Can't, I can't answer that part for you, but right. so hey, baby, here go some other solutions. I know you've been doing this to go to sleep, but here's what can help with that. Or right. what are you trying to escape, you know, that you're trying to use this to go to sleep? Like, let's yeah. have that conversation mm -hmm. because that's what's bottled up mm -hmm. and that's what keeps on presenting itself every day. So when you, when you, find, when you find yourself being intentional about learning mm -hmm. what is disturbing a man, it actually peels off of those things. I would say that most men who have a porn addiction mm -hmm. are fulfilling desires, possibly, that mm -hmm. they may not have the opportunity to ask about at home. Mm -hmm. It may be some stuff that you ain't supposed to even do, but, you know, yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, like, yeah. that's what it's coming from. They're doing, they're yeah, watching Yeah, I wonder something. about that. Like, yeah. What, yeah, it, what, is, what is porn, what is it in porn? I mean, I, I haven't watched porn, but I've seen some porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... I don't understand um, the addiction and like why, like why would you wa watch it? Like, and what is that? I don't mean to take the question. Yeah, but no, no. That's just one of these strong addictions. Yeah. I agree. And what I would add to that for men, um, for women or wives that know that, you know, that their husband has a porn addiction. I wonder if a man understands how it might make his wife feel the inadequacy. She now she feels inadequate. Yeah. Now she may feel like just all now the I feelings, have to do this or I can't the do pressure, that. The pressure, yeah. just all of it is just like it's almost like you didn't, you don't pick, you didn't choose me, you chose this. I feel like um, that we can look at every addiction mm -hmm. if we looked at it through spiritual lenses, mm -hmm. um, because uh, it's like. Why anything that is an addiction, anything that you look to outside of God mm -hmm. okay. to be your um, comfort, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it will ultimately end up in destruction. Right. Yeah, any of it. I agree. So to look at one thing and be like, why you do that? Mm -hmm. Right. Why you do that? Yeah. You know, it's, what it's, mean? Just, one, yeah. it's just yeah. one of the things that you it's one of the things I get. Oh, go, go ahead. Go, 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 I was go. just going to say that. Um. They, they, I think that men appreciate. I think the the approach there. You need to know your husband. Okay. You need to know your husband. Um, me personally, I am one of the way. One of the evolutions I had to go through in dealing with Melissa mm -hmm. was to be a little bit more tactful mm -hmm. in my approach. Mm -hmm. Because for me, mm -hmm. my father was a drill sergeant for twenty four years. Mm -hmm. My mother was like a corporate hot shot. Mm -hmm telecommunications for 30 something years mm -hmm. when I got talked to as a child mm -hmm. very direct okay so me as an adult yeah very direct yeah like, why are you watching porn what do you need to do that yeah. for yeah and for me mm -hmm. that approach actually works for me yeah um especially if I know your intentions are good mm -hmm. right um I would actually prefer like I'm not the beat around the bush type I want somebody to come directly at. If you got a yeah. problem with me, yeah. I want you to come directly at me. Yeah. Let's talk about it, get it out the way, yeah. and learn from it. Yeah. Move on. Right? right, right. So if if I had an addiction, um, or if I if I when I was struggling with any sort of addiction, right, if I wanted my wife to uh, talk to me about it, how would I want her to? Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, um, I know this. You been smoking a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And it's it's. I don't like it. This mm -hmm. is how it makes me feel. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do to help you? Like, mm -hmm. what's going on? And then we can have a conversation from there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that beating around 
Don't mm-hmm. do me like that. Yeah. Ooh, uh, ooh, I'm so just be direct. direct. Yeah. And That's me. Yeah. And, right. And, and yeah. That works yeah. for me. Okay. Or don't, don't don't talk about it in a way where it's demeaning. You know. Yeah. Oh, you do that. I don't. Mm-hmm. That doesn't work for a man. It only yeah. pushes him further. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, because like I said, addictions. You know, say that I have a problem. Mm-hmm. You know. So it's a communication in itself. If somebody mm-hmm. is stuck on something. They have an issue. You know, mm-hmm. we stuck on sugar. You got an issue. And you, you know don't want to hear them say, right. you got a problem. Right. The right. sugar and I is don't. pleasing yeah. you and right. it's comforting you in yeah. some way. So, right. you know, I think it's important just to really, like you said, you know, communicate that. Mm-hmm. Um, Crystal communicated to me, which I never knew. Like, um, it, but it stuck with me about drinking, mm-hmm. you know. And like I said, I wasn't rolling around here. Now, back in my younger years, I would get sloppy, you know. Mm-hmm. Right. It was just fun. Yeah. But yeah. in my adult years, you know, like I said, I was like, trying to sleep, you know, have some fun. I've gotten tipsy, you know, a few times, but the majority of the time has been me just really trying to sleep. Mm -hmm. Crystal told me this one time we were um, having a discussion. She said, it's a trigger for me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dang, Mm -hmm. I didn't want her to go back to her younger self every time Mm -hmm. I drank and feel like it's her dad coming in the house. It's these things happening again. You know, it's Mm -hmm. like, so I was like, I'm going to quit this for her. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. and I talked to God about it. I was like, I need to take this taste because yeah. I don't want, I, you're going to have to give me sleep. You're going to have to give me whatever it is that I'm <laughs> right. missing. Right. So, that, so that I could be able to be what she needs me to be because I don't mm-hmm. want her to feel that way no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's real, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, That's dope. Yeah. No, that yeah. you were yeah. able to communicate that to him and that yeah. he yeah. was able to make that yeah. decision. I because think all the other times it was just only like, Oh, you drinking and that's bad. You drinking right. and it's going somewhere. Yeah. That's your she told me, Exactly. Right. But right. when she yeah. told me it was a trigger for her, I was like, this is my person. I didn't know yeah. that it was. And then I, it, it you're like, why is it bothering me? It took me some time to be like, what is this? Yeah. I said, it's like my daddy is here somehow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's yeah. not here anymore, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. I had, I think I, I had to come to a knowledge of what it was. And then, yeah, I am a straight shooter. Um, sometimes to a fault. And I'm, you know, perfecting my communication. But, yeah, I had to be like, babe, yeah. And I appreciate you yeah. for being loving me enough and seeing me enough and saying, I don't want that for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah That's sweet. you've been doing good. Mm-hmm. I think, I think that... Good. I think I what I learned about conf- any kind of conflict resolution mm-hmm. is that when you present it as a way of, hey, this is how this action makes me feel. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you really yeah. love that person, yeah. right, you care about how they feel. Right. You do. Yeah. I mean, I don't care. I, I could feel like I'm right as, as right. Yes. Right, in what I'm doing. But if yes. you if if I value Melissa and she comes to me and says, this harms me yes. in a way. I feel yeah. scared. I, yeah. I feel insecure. I feel hurt, whatever. Yeah. And having those feeling words are important. Right. It's feeling words. Yeah. We're going we're, we're to talk about that at one Yeah, you? we will. Now, now yeah. I was going to say. I, I, tr- I struggle with feeling words yeah. and even hearing if I want to hear my husband, I'll say, I'll have to say, well, how does it make you feel? Yes. I love and, that. Or you'll say, you didn't tell me how it made you yeah, feel. Yeah. I'm like, right. you didn't tell me if, right. If you had told me that, I, yeah. I would have yeah. 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 heard yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So yeah. those feeling words are so important. critical to your relationship Absolutely. and knowing what they are. Yeah. It's to the point where I used to have a list and I, I need to get back phone. to that list. Yeah. 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 Um, there's, it, a, there's actually a wheel. Oh, I'm going to okay. get us one on Amazon. Yeah. It's a little tiny wheel with yeah. feelings and it'll say anger, but then it'll have all these roots. Oh, shoots from Yeah. Yeah, I like that. We awesome. need to get that. Yeah. We should probably we get, get that for them. Yeah. yeah. I think they, they okay. would love that. Sorry. So, so, so yeah. taking this back a little bit to what we talked about earlier, I think you can, as couples, as husband and wife, Mm -hmm. manage each other's emotions. Being responsible for the words that you are using Mm -hmm. towards your mate, Mm -hmm. the timing that you choose to either lay off or put something on them Mm -hmm. can help manage their emotions. And therefore, you become emotionally responsible people. Like, Mm -hmm. you know what? I see you going through a lot. I'm not going to say this right now. You know what? I'm going to lay up. You know what? You need these words. I'm going to put this in you right now because I know that that's what you need. You don't need all the extras. Right. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That's good, yeah. stuff. good stuff. It comes with practice. It comes with maturity. Oh, yes. And it comes with just desire. doing it in desire <laughs> and doing it over yeah. and over again. Because sometimes even mm-hmm. when you know to do that and you don't, yeah. you know when you're not, you're like, I'm you not doing it. Yeah. I'm yeah. not doing it. You really can't do this right. What did you do? Yes, yes. Crystal used to be mad because I would be on 10 and then I'd be like, I need a minute. I... Two minutes later, I'm coming in there like, you know, I'm sorry. She's like, 
you ain't sorry. You know what I'm saying? But the too, Holy Spirit. I'd be like, why? You do. Yeah. You be like, yeah, some more time. Right, right. <laughs> so who did God go looking for in the garden? Adam. Yeah, Adam. So yeah. this is why I tell Crystal all the time, like, you don't even got to beat me up. It's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna happen. I love that yeah. about the, the Father, the Lord, the, Jesus. the Lord Jesus. Thank <laughs> you, yes, you are Yehuda. <laughs> he'll sit there, and he'll tell you everything you know. He'll be like, "Listen, yeah." And so he'll give you instructions. Go hug her. Yeah. Don't even say nothing. Steve and I will go back and and talk through it mm -hmm. and try to work on that solution, that problem. But what we had to do was put it aside. Mm -hmm. You know, pray, bring mm -hmm. God into the mix, and realize that we love each other have good intentions toward each other yeah. and yeah. that yeah. has helped like, us tremendously like should be yeah. good, called good intentions good intentions good. I like that right. good intentions yeah. desire fire and desire yeah. and good intentions <laughs> yeah. because we treat each other like enemies yeah. just because we Man. don't agree that's what it be Man. it's like you know what spy versus spy yeah. you know what I'm saying you wear black I'm wearing white you, you are know, my that's enemy the, that's the, and it's not that way you know especially in black relationships you know yeah. I can't speak for everybody Everybody else, but mm -hmm. I've seen some stuff, you know, where white people resolve and they, you know, I'm gonna count to three. They have all these different things that they do. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're gonna talk about this later. Let's table this. It's like, yeah, let's light a candle. Yeah. 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 Um, so, what about counseling? Are we for it? Are you guys for counseling against couples counseling that kind of thing? Just trying to give a word to, you know, marriages that feel like you know they're ready to throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. um, or do y'all think that God can work it? Jesus can work it out. Let me tell you what the Bible says about counseling, because I believe what that. What does it say, baby? Because because it says in the in the what does it say? I know in what you're talking about. It says something that's like in the, in the multitude, of many. Of, uh, there's there's safety, wisdom or safety. Yeah, there's safety. In the, like, counsel in the counsel of. of I don't know. We need it's to, something. We're going to find Proverbs it, or something? Yeah. It sounds like a proverb. It's a proverb. Yeah. It's thing, definitely. Yeah. But what I would say is that proverbial. couples hanging with other couples. Yeah. I find there's growth there. Mm -hmm. um, I think at times, like, and I'm not discounting counseling mm -hmm. because you need to be able to talk. So marriage counseling, when there's a married couple counseling you, that definitely helps. Mm -hmm. But there's still a disconnect to me mm -hmm. um, that can happen when you leave counseling mm -hmm. if y'all are not on the same If it page. wasn't a good session. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if, this, Listen, if the session about, was like, biased. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm, 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 I'm not riding to conflict with you because we got to go home afterwards. Yeah. Yes. I need to be in my car in process. Seriously, <laughs> seriously it's quiet no, yeah. rides, you know, yeah, nothing yeah. but the AC playing because you're afraid to play a song. <laughs> the song might say the wrong thing. Well, no, <laughs> you can right. turn it right. off. Exactly. You do leave those counseling sessions kind of mad at each other. They can be in trouble. Because you picked scabs. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. you know, I've gotten tools there, though, you know, so yeah. I've gotten some tools. I think the thing is that we have to do now, mm -hmm. um, because guess what? This next generation, I don't think has time, you know, mm -hmm. um, the way that they process everything much faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, our kids are scrollers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They don't sit and watch TV. No. Right. Jalen came to me the other day and was like, yeah, I'm about to watch the game on my phone and I'm going to pop it up on the screen. Right. Like, <laughs> we used to get the clicker, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They it's process different. things differently. Mm -hmm. So I think it's our job as this generation to now repackage what counseling can be, okay. where that can happen. Because uh -huh. guess what? I don't have an hour to drive to get to a counseling session that's going to be an hour and a half, then to drive back home. Yeah, well, they're doing to, virtual, too. Well, no, sometimes. no, 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 no. I'm not making this about me personally. Okay, okay. We're looking at how people think. Yeah. You right. know, so about that's how people, right. Not, not everybody's going to put I, that I value understand. there. I mm -hmm. value it, mm -hmm. and I value what has happened through it. But let's look at what we're doing for this next generation, our watchers. Yeah. Um, you know. How can it be we, quick? How can we make this, you know, something that is more improved and can solve quick. I think the tools need to be put out there. Mm -hmm. They need to see us using the tools. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. cause it, we got a lot of tools, but then it's like, all right, normally you got to go to a t tool cabinet or wherever you're keeping the tool, open up the box, find the right tool, make sure it fits it. Mm -hmm. In relationships, you don't got that type of time. You need to know what's working now. Like, so mm -hmm. how can we repackage this thing, mm -hmm. you know, to where people can use it mm -hmm. quicker? Cause Unfortunately, not everybody knows God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? True. Like, 
not everybody knows what we know. We're blessed yeah, we are so to blessed. know True. and to put God in our relationship mm-hmm. to say that this is the only glue that really makes he this is work. The glue. Yeah. And if I'm willing to line up with him, then I'm going to be all right towards her yeah. or, you know, vice versa. Yeah. Not everybody got that. And yeah, they're yeah. solving their own problems. Yeah. And, and guess what? Some, sometimes they're solving it by committing suicide. Correct. Yeah. Or, or killing. Murder suicide. Yeah. Murder. 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 Yeah. Murder suicide yeah. has been real. Ooh. They've been killing Lord. the kids. Yeah. Killing the, the, the spouse. Everybody. Yeah. Killing themselves. Everybody's yeah. gone. They're just the gone. The mother is broken. Yeah. Kills the kids. Yeah. Along with killing herself. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it's horror stories. When we first moved to Georgia... Um, when we lived in uh, Douglasville, mm-hmm. there was a situation like that. Dude had killed yeah. his uh, wife, killed the kids, killed himself. Yeah, he's just a matter of fact, I don't think he killed himself because they got him. Yeah. He didn't even yeah. kill himself. He just killed all he of killed them. He killed them. It's just yeah. like nobody about to have them. Yeah, so having those tools, those resources. Yes, like after we <clears throat> get the tools accessible. is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After we go get the tools, because we're yeah. still the generation that values the drive, mm-hmm. the going to get it, the making it happen. And mm-hmm. you know what? I'm going to see what this is about. Mm-hmm. They ain't got the time. Yeah. They solving it through scissor. They solving it through music. Yeah. And, oh and my memes. Goodness. Memes. Yeah. Memes and are TikTok. the new counselors. And yeah. this is why they bring their problems online. Yeah. Like, as yeah. soon as they got a problem, they online. Yeah. You know, chirping about it, texting about it, doing yeah. whatever. And that's not how you solve it, man. We know that, you know, the devil is real. But this is why we got to be those examples. You know, mm-hmm. um, we're mm-hmm. breaking a lot of generational curses, yeah. you know, at this table right now. Yeah. You know, this yeah, is why yeah. he's always attacking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. I think I think it's really great. I think counseling is great. I think it's something that is a tool mm-hmm. that's there and that's needed, but it's not the only one. Mm-hmm. Like, right. like you say, mm-hmm. yeah. I believe that with all of the technology and information that we have out mm-hmm. there, we have to just put the information where people can mm-hmm. access it yeah. and apply it. But yeah. I think we need to be examples. Mm-hmm. And I do think that ne- there needs to be a little bit more hand hand down information like us. Mm-hmm. Couples yes. like us talking to other couples, talking to other people mm-hmm. and being real. Mm-hmm. I think yes. Wife University is a, is a large uh, platform mm-hmm. where you're talking to multiple, but this is information. You don't have to be an expert to share. You don't. Correct. Experience. 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 Or information that you yeah. have learned yeah. through your marriage or your mm-hmm. things that you have gone through. And yeah. we have to get out of that mindset. Well, if it's not from this person, then I don't want to hear it. Correct. Yes. It's about sharing so you can prevent and Correct. help somebody else's yeah. life. Yeah. And I think it's yeah. as many platforms or as many resources Absolutely. that you can. Absolutely. I agree yeah. with you. And I mean, we can take that back to the Bible. There are too many examples of God. You, God has used a donkey to get a message. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? I ain't calling us donkeys mm-hmm. or nothing, but what I'm saying is <laughs> God, 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 right. God right. can use mm-hmm. anyone. He can use anything and um, nothing happens in our lives unless God allows. So there are certain things that we've been through that will put us on a path so that we can be a blessing to someone else mm-hmm. to share our testimony. Yeah. And we have to be bold enough uh, to do I'm it. I'm a fan of counseling. I think there's a lot of value in finding the right counselors mm-hmm. for you. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a it lot matters. of value in godly counsel. Mm-hmm. Yes. I believe that the most value I've seen or the most difference I've seen in any sort of like um, counseling type of environment mm-hmm. is not counseling at all. It's kind of what you said. You mentioned it. Um, in my experience, the couples I've seen that have couples around them mm-hmm. and they fellowship with a lot of couples. Mm-hmm. It's, it's accountability. Yep. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's uh, mirroring. Mm-hmm. It's, it's learning. Yeah, it's it's uh, like sharing. Yeah. It's yep. testimonies. Yep. It's encouraging. Mm-hmm. It, it, and it works. Yep. Yeah. I mm-hmm. think that um, couples don't isolate yourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't. That's a good word. Yeah. Don't. We isolated ourselves. We were yeah. so isolated. Yeah. 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 We isolated yeah. ourselves. And we didn't we, have help. We didn't have married friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And really, honestly, we still don't, but we're praying about it. Yeah. We want yeah. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them in Georgia. <laughs> we, I know. <laughs> if you're looking for resources, <laughs> there's a where time. married couple bar. I just know a lot of them. What, here. what I love about the married couples that in, you have to be in an environment and in a place. I'm yeah. gonna be, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Certain places, cities, geographic locations foster different environments they do um and it's just a fact it's just a fact i'm not saying one one or the other we ain't calling Um, out no we're not calling out 
nothing. Geographic location. But if you are a young, if you are a young married couple yes. in an environment where it's all singles yes. or there's all elderly yes. or there's no married yes. couples, yeah. it becomes it difficult. More difficult. It makes it difficult to build yeah. that camaraderie yeah. and have that support that you need. So being in an environment where there's couples to choose from, yes. you don't have to be. You know, a part of every couple's life, but it's just a lot of them mm -hmm. where you guys can work together, be yeah. together, and support one another. Yeah. And that's what, I, that's the kind of environment. And, and talking about transitioning from being single to yes. being married. Yeah. When you become married, you need that. And you need people to wrap their arms around you as husband and wife. Oh, yeah. And, sure. yeah. and if you are newly married and yes. you are, um, you need to embrace that. Yeah. And allow them to come in if they're good, you know, yeah, yeah. Good discernment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I would add to that if you are a seasoned couple, say you're in church or whatever yeah. community you're a part of, don't hesitate to pull people in. Yeah. You know, because some people, some people may be newlyweds, they may want that, but they don't know how to get in. Yeah. Well, no, we need to pull them in. Yeah. Hey, that's, come, that's come hang out. That's with good. Us. Come hang out. Yeah. And let me invite you Let's here. Do a little game yeah. night, little date, little Let's, something. Exactly, mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. that it really, really helps. Um, build and make your relationship stronger yeah. mm -hmm. when it's not just you. Well, mm -hmm. we do like want to invite you guys into our marriage circle in Atlanta. Thank <laughs> you. No, I'm a queen. I'm we a queen. are. We are definitely. <laughs> oh, we are definitely a part of the team from afar. Um, I was just inviting you. That's yes. it. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's you never know stuff. what God has. You never yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think just the work that's being done. You know, will will end up. You know. Yeah. Doing what it's going to do. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. Whatever that looks like. And, and let me tell y'all, as we close, it's giving husband school. That's what it's giving. Like, it's you know, giving. this is husband school. Ne it's Your next. Life is a trip. <laughs> oh, man. It's a setup. I told it's you. She giving. just be putting it out there. Like, I mean, hey, let's hey, 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 Can I talk to you? No. Nope. Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No speaking there. No speaking there. You niggas don't say anything. But no, seriously, um, I just appreciate the wisdom yeah. that is coming from the right of me and the left of me. Yeah, like, me too. And um, I just think, you know, I appreciate this platform. I appreciate that there are more podcasts and pla yes. platforms out there. But you see a lot of people talking about different things. But this is the stuff to be talking about. Mm -hmm. I can see this being, you know, on a bigger platform, a men's conference, something for the husbands, um, you know, just to share what you guys have learned. So, yeah, well, you know. I, I got to say this, you know, you got wife school, you talked about husband school, but I think what this represents here is more like marriage, marriage school. school. Marriage, marriage school. school. That's, school. Part I like that. That's part three. Hey. Guess what? Where we all go together yeah, and prepared. put our tools together. Yes. Yeah, being, being prepared for it is one thing. Mm -hmm. On both sides, but when you get in it, it's a still like people tell you what double dutch is like, but until you get in there and get your own rhythm, right, like, right. you don't know, right. you know. So I, I think agree. I think it's really that part, yeah, um, that we know, yeah, um, and we're in it, we're in the thick of it, you yeah, know? and um, yeah. I think we we got through the thickest parts. <laughs> And yeah, it's that's good what, it's yeah, good. that's what people need to know about, you know, and that's what yeah. I feel like we've been transparent on. So I think, yeah, a, a lot of this is necessary. No, mm -hmm. there's no training going on outside mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. for these things, especially mm -mm. now, man. I mean, yeah. women want something different. Like you said, yeah. they want you to come packaged up. You better have this, better have that. Yeah. But guess what? Even if a man comes to you with every dream list that you want. He's still going to need help. something from you. He's going to need something. He's going to need. Still going to need something. Yeah, or you even got to his maintain. Help him exactly. maintain whatever mm -hmm. it is. It's God's order. Yeah. You know, he never he never talks about divorcing the bride or when it ends. Yeah. Right. it's a continuous process mm -hmm. and it's on forever. So, uh -huh. and I also think people are tired of divorce. Yes. Yes. I feel like people are I like I f it's a shift almost. It is. Well, I feel like people are like, no, nah, we fight for this. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Stop getting divorced. Yeah. You know, especially in the stop. church. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's invaluable what you all are doing. Oh, uh, well, this was great. Wow. I love, oh, love you guys. Never again. Nah. He said never, never again. again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll be back. I love you. Thank Hope you yeah. all enjoyed that. So yes, that yeah. one Never time. Never see our faces again. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> be like, what happened to their hood? Be in like, a green workout. <laughs> 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 oh, I tried. We tried. <laughs>
Don't speak. No, yes. it's all good. No, yes. Well, all thank good. you all for joining us. All right. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Thank we'll you guys. Bye. Thank you. Yes.